Well, good evening, everybody. We're going to do a quick video on Denver Metro Audits, Christopher Cardova, who uh, in this picture here, you can see uh, what he looked like a few years back there when he did some time in Colorado. And, you know, you can, uh, you, I'm sure you can still recognize him, though. Uh, he hasn't changed much. He's still got that baby face, even though he's in his 30s now. Anyways, Christopher uh, recently did a dum-dum at a traffic stop that wasn't even his. He just walked up on it, decided to insert himself into the middle of it. Then he gets mad at the officer because the officer won't identify himself. So, well, if you're ready, grab a, baba, a bag of baga, a bag of popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, and get ready to board the crazy train of frauding. Hey, what's up? They get you guys for speeding or what? Oh, that's a bust. You ran it or just like didn't stop all the way? That's bold. Are they giving you a ticket? Hopefully not. I'm just here to record them, that's all. Yeah, I'm just make... You're just here to record them, Christopher? Or are you here to, uh, you know, insert yourself into the middle of a traffic stop? Now you started out really well. You were on the public sidewalk. You were completely legal to do what you did. Then you walked up to the car and inserted yourself into the middle of the traffic stop. And I'm completely surprised that that officer isn't, or that officer, I'm sorry, that's a deputy sheriff, that that deputy is not out of his car and talking to you. Oh yeah, these guys, my girlfriend, she just got a ticket for speeding right here on Constitution. Yeah, it's just, especially not stopping all the way with a stop sign, that's just a total victimless crime, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, that's stupid. I've had a ticket for that too. It's just, it's just theft is all. They're just like trying to collect revenue, you know what I'm saying? No, all right, Christopher, you're starting to sound like a sovtard, like a sovereign citizen on there or something. Yes, officers only pull people over to add, you know, revenue just to make money for the town. It doesn't have anything to do with safety or anything like that, does it, Christopher? No, no. It's not like there isn't 700,000 motor vehicle accidents every year because someone runs a stop sign. You know, maybe it isn't all about what you think, Christopher. So, well, I'm just going to record them just to make sure you guys are all right, you know what I'm saying? So, right on. All right guys, so thanks for coming in. We're just, we just saw a little traffic stop here. Um, two girls in this car here, so just gonna make sure everything's cool. He, they said they pulled her, they pulled her over. He pulled her over because she didn't stop all the way at a stop sign. So the dangerous criminals here, guys, that didn't stop all the way at a stop sign here in El Paso County. They've been on one. Uh, uh, Sweet Tea just got a, pulled over from these guys yesterday. So she got a speeding ticket. What's up, our lab? What's up, Karen? KLB, Pink Taco. So that's all, guys. We're just over here um, making sure these people are okay. Uh, hopefully, this guy just doesn't even give him a ticket, but it looks like he is because look, he's writing stuff out in there. So. What'd you say? Are you going to charge me? I wasn't interfering. Okay. So why would you tell me to, to, if I'm going to interfere? Okay, I don't need a directive, man. I know what the law is, bro. Well, Christopher, apparently you don't know the law. 
all you frauditors. That's the, as soon as the frauditor says, I know the law, you know they don't know crap. Jeez, crow. All right, Christopher, you have absolutely no right to leave the public sidewalk and walk up to a car in the middle of a traffic stop. That is not covered under the First Amendment. You just happen to be filming. That makes zero difference of you walking into the middle of an officer's scene. So that deputy sheriff has every right to tell you that if you continue to interfere, he's going to arrest you. It's not a threat. He's just telling you what's going to happen. Chill out. Look at this guy already getting giving me directives. Hey, if you don't, if you interfere, I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrest you. Is what he said. Like, why would you even tell me that, man? Just leave me alone, bro. He says, I don't mind if you record me, but if you interfere, I'm going to arrest you. Until I interfere, you should just shut up, dude, and write your ticket and steal money, bud. If I interfere, man. Yeah, I'd love for them to arrest me for interfering by just standing here, man. So here we go. I'll give you guys a little view. It's like sidewalk here. So this is all public right here, this easement here. I can stand right here on this, on these weeds here. Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. You obviously don't understand the term easement if you think it gives you the right to stand upon someone else's property and do whatever you want. No, sir. Now, Merriam-Webster's dictionary describes easement, and we'll use number two here, as an interest in land owned by another that entitles its holder to a specific limited use or enjoyment. And uh, Cornell Law School describes uh, an easement as the grant of non-possessory property interest in uh, that provides the easement holder permission to use another person's land. So in other words, Christopher, if it does not mean you get to stand upon someone else's property and enjoy the use of it for whatever you want. No, sir. It means you can use part of that land for a specific purpose, such as crossing it to get to the other side. And just because it's in public does not change the meaning of it and doesn't mean you get to use it for whatever you want either. So you're listening to too many other frauditors if you think that you can. And just standing here recording isn't interfering, so. See what I mean, guys? El Paso County over here. We're in Colorado Springs. I'm gonna fast forward through a few minutes of this uh, audit that he did because uh, DMA just spends time talking to people on the live stream. Um, and there's absolutely nothing to do with the traffic stop. So I will fast forward it all the way to the point where the officer uh, actually goes up to the car to uh, give the ticket to the driver. It's against the law. So we're in Colorado Springs. I'm pretty sure you can... Um, open carry here so in, in uh, Denver you can only uh, concealed carry that's it what do you care about carrying a weapon there uh, Christopher yeah you're a convicted felon you can't have one anyways you couldn't carry one period I don't want you guys to get their phone number uh, I don't think you got that good audio. So I'm probably about, mm, I'd say 15, 20 feet away from him right now, guys. So this is definitely not interfering, just in case he tries to pull some crap. Yep, he's giving her a ticket, guys. $150 ticket for not stopping all the way at a stop sign, guys. He's a hero, man. Hero. So 
we're gonna ask for uh, name and badge number or business card at least. Spanky pants. I don't have freaking media blocked, but I've been having issues with that. So sometimes people get I've been blocked on my channel. Can I get your business card? Yes, sir. Huh? Oh, I said, can I get your business card? Uh, no, 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 not contact. Oh yeah, you did. You made contact. I need your name and badge number then, bud. Hey, name and badge number. You made contact with me. I did not. You rolled your window down and you made a conversation with me, bud. Name and badge number. It's your policy, man. What's wrong with you? Give me a directive like that. Yeah, kick rocks, bitch. Oh, that was beautiful. Did you see that deputy sheriff just totally, totally blew DMA off? Oh, poor Chrissy is screaming. He's so angry that he didn't get a business card and that he got totally shut down. His egotistical, narcissistic attitude just wouldn't let, wouldn't let it happen. He had to yell and scream at the officer. And, as he drove away, happy and smiling, it left Christopher standing there yelling and screaming. Gosh, man. I like that. Sorry, guys. Hey, sorry about that, guys. So you guys all right then? They gave you a ticket, I heard? Yeah, we're okay. Okay. All right, well, at least you ladies are safe then. Appreciate all right, man. Have a good day. Those ladies are safe? Well, well, they're safe now that you're leaving, Christopher. <laughs> Jesus. I used to say, the last person I want is a frauditor, especially an egotistical, narcissistic frauditor like you protecting my roles. <laughs> Never, ever. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I have for this video. I'm going to cut it a little short, just a tad bit on the end, maybe a half a minute or a minute or so, uh, just so you don't have to continue watching this idiot. And I think I've gone through an entire video without one single curse word. I think YouTube will be very happy with me. Um, I want to thank 165 new subscribers in the last month. I want to thank all my old subscribers because you're the ones that make this channel work and make it grow. Y'all want to go out there and tell each other about my channel. I really appreciate it. So if you want to share this video, you want to mirror it or whatever you would like to do, please do. Show this video around and show... Uh, uh, all these people out there, what an idiot Christopher Cardova, a.k.a. Denver Metro Audits is. Doesn't understand the law, even though he's been in prison a couple times. Well, he's been in prison once, but he's been in jail a couple times. He'd been arrested a whole lot, and I'm under the impression he just got convicted of a crime. And he may be facing some time on this one. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, would you all please share this channel? Tell your friends about it, tell your family, tell your co-workers, tell your enemies, tell your co-defendants, tell everybody. Hell, make a, li make a list of friends and tell them all. If you would, help me grow this channel, and it's only going to happen through you folks and people that, uh, well, people that, <laughs> people that search for Denver Metro Audit might see this video also. Thank you all so much for everything you've done for this channel and moving it forward, and we're going to keep it on going. Y'all take care till the next time.